awake at night. Sometimes it's hard. Yeah man, I can't see you nigga like it's it's a weird angle. Yes. That's better. That's better. That's better. And then be like back up a little bit so I see both your faces. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> that's it. That's that. That's great. It's you all good, bro, bro. You all good. Yeah man, so Yeah, just getting into it, man. So, we have to I got to ask you guys the the first question all over again. Okay. Um, so my Yeah, the first question is I want you guys to deconstruct the title, the actual yeah. title of the mixtape like what does it mean to y'all? How did you come about um picking that title? Yeah, and what the significance is. So, who wants to answer that? Yeah. One take this again, then I just add on up. So basically, what the current dreams mean is that um, this is this this isn't like something we just started out. Like the whole project isn't something we just started out. It's not our first time together. working together. Yeah, it, it didn't just come out of nowhere. Basically, like it's I I had like a dream of making music. Yeah. Mm. LLN had a dream of uh, making music. Yeah. Then the third guy, his name is Kenny he's from East London. The one you said you don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's also a producer slash engineer. Yeah. Not the homie. What happened was. When we were working on this on this project, right? I was still here in like King Jim's Town and shit. LLM was in Durban, yeah, and the homie was in, in like, yeah, East London, yeah. So we had to like find a way to work find together. Find a way to work to work together, even though we were in different locations. Because that whole tape was basically started and finished in different locations. Yeah, yeah. You never saw each other not once. So There's an email thing. Email team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we had to be on the same level yeah, because yeah. we know sometimes how long it can take to send shit to someone else, and you know we both living different lives either way. You know? like yeah, we're all living lives. Yeah, and the dream is basically a metaphor for common goals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, oh yeah. Making music. It's recurring. That's recurring. <laughs> and it's a dream. Word. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. I get it, man. It makes perfect sense. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to nah, you can continue. You can okay, continue. Say, well, you know, even with titles in general, even though we may come up with our own explanation, music you just given it to interpret in your own way, and then you make as, as it your own way, and then as someone explains it to you, you also get to get to see it from different perspectives. So I get it. Also, viewers like we mean literally like. When you sleep, you have this reoccurring dream. This, you know, it's a reoccurring dream. Hence, why even Word. in, the, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, you see yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. saying even in the what's this? Even in the process of talking about it, like it's it's a literal reoccurring dream that you see, like deja vu type of shit. When you see something, you're like, hey, I've, I've like I think I've lived this before, but maybe in a dream, you know, Damn. in a stage like that. Hence, I say, dream is a metaphor for common goals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Metaphor, metaphor. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. So, just like from talking to you guys, I've managed to surmise like who was based where. You said you guys did this tape in like two, three different locations. So, I'm thinking that the main studio is in King Williamstown. Yeah, yeah. You can say that's where can say that's where Twitch is from. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And uh, LLN, you're based in Durban, I'm, right? I'm based in Durban, yeah, but I'm yeah. in. I stay in Bisho. Oh, you stay in Bisho. Wait, are you yeah. where? Where are you guys right now? Where are you guys right now? King King William. I was. I was. So I got like um, questions that maybe both of you can, since like you guys aren't staying unnecessarily based in the same place. You can uh, like each give me your um, perspective. Answers. Your perspective. Yeah, your different perspective. So perspective. my first question was like, um, what like what is the biggest challenge like that y'all have to face in your environment as far as like your music careers go? Like so in King Williamstown, like what is the challenges 
that you you've stumbled upon like in the quest to blow up yeah in my in my big stumbling block is like a, a very deep one you know like where we are if you're an artist who does hip hop music you don't get like a lot of backing yeah yeah because like most of the music you find being made in King William Town it's either house music or pop music it yeah is like if people attend an event where by the lineup has a few artists like rappers or singers like when the person is performing they don't respect that shit mm. unless yeah. unless you're doing house if you're doing house Not music or pop they going to respect your shit they going to love it they going to support you but if you're doing something else and it doesn't resonate with them yeah how I don't, I don't know what you do yeah yeah, yeah. So wrong touch them damn yeah so there's like a there's a lack of like a, a hip hop culture in in King Williams town is what you saying like it's yeah. not yeah it's not like it's not the the biggest or the most uh genre in in in, in the town Yeah. Damn, that's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy to me because I'm like listening to you guys and like just from not knowing you guys but like knowing your music, I'm like man, these dudes are probably in a place where you know what I mean, like hip hop thrives. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I didn't yeah, yeah. I didn't think that was the case where it's like okay, man, you still have to fight to to kind of break through yeah. other genres just so you can stand out yeah. you dig yeah. that's yeah. crazy yeah, even, yeah. Even the whole thing like it, it came from me when i was yeah like, a bit of a depression damn like, i wouldn't say yeah. the depression was deep but the strain of knowing that nothing is going to happen for me in my own city like that that shit is fucking stressful bro. Mm. I don't lie. Yeah. How talented or how good you are. You know, in because, Damn. because I personally feel I'm good enough. Mm. But it's just that people don't want to listen. Yeah. Because yeah. they already made their own verdict and shit. Yeah. And I, I don't know what I can do. I can just do my music and put that shit out there. Just if do they you. listen, listen. If they not, they listen. If they don't, you know what I mean? They'll catch up when everybody else catches up. Yeah. 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 That's one thing yeah. I also know, like, in my in my city bro if you're doing hip hop music yeah the only time you get parked is if they see you on tv or hear you on radio or that radio. yeah yeah if that is not happening for you you ain't shit out here my nigga i don't even want to lie that's why that's why i've been traveling a lot i'm trying to put my shit out there dude. i've been yeah. in cape town joburg just to get my shit off and yeah. i feel like being an underground artist in Joburg is way better than being an underground artist here man. yeah you guys are answering like some of the questions that i i was going to ask you but now you're already speaking on it so i'm going to try to switch it up yeah so the next question was please uh describe the culture of hip hop where you live so you've already told me like church has already said that that to hip hop is kind of have to take like take a back seat to ama piano and you know what i mean house music whatever is popping in king i fuck those genres but yeah it is what but it's not it's not what it's not what you represent you dig yeah 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 yeah, yeah. especially with that song yeah cuz it said he was as you can even hear as the listener like it's it's a dark sound no matter mm-hmm. what the content it's a dark the mastering's dark it's a very dark sound you know yeah yeah so we try it has a very to capture exactly what was felt at that moment when making those beats and so i mean most of the time the process just starts with the beat i let the beat like carry me to where you know even though i may have want my own ideas but like it's like anyone it's kind of like anyone who would hear this beat would know that You can't be talking about some I'm happy shit on this type of beat, you know. Like it's Or like not, the way you yeah, it, yeah. yeah, I get you, bro. Yeah. Tell me about um like like communities that you've come across like and, and by that I mean like do you guys 
do you find yourselves where okay even though it's not the most major genre where you live do you come across like clicks of niggas that do the same that do this thing so yeah so what yeah so what's that like or like what's like that particularly like especially uh, living in the eastern cape mm, mm, eastern cape and that's even bigger that's an even bigger thing but, uh, yeah uh i'll go yeah, you, a little and then go in a little yeah you, you can hop on it yeah um so as i said uh okay we basically are live in different places but mm-hmm. you can say this is like 10k's out of my case with him yeah and so i really mean like despite this you know the pandemic right now like when we, yeah 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 we never meeting to chill it's it's just music yeah. it's, it's, yeah. we got to it's and we know what to do like we know what we're doing in that sense like it's like yo we meeting up to get this done to getting this done like we have an agenda you know that's what i'm trying to say so even though we're from different places we kind of stay in our own bubble even though we know that there are other clicks and stuff out there and, and we know about them we listen to them support them and it's vice versa like that but us we in our own bubble hence why we able to do the type of music we do together we want to do and hence why we were able to work with that project like in three different locations got you what about you twitch for me when it comes to clicks over this side i'd have to say everybody is just self-absorbed bro. oh yeah like everybody wants to work for work with you but the bigger picture to them they're working for themselves bro. yeah they yeah care. yeah yeah they don't care about the work they care about benefiting from the work yeah that, that's why i don't have like a lot of collaborations this side because yeah niggas, niggas tend to make shit difficult for me. yeah without even like yeah like it's without shit, shit you yeah yeah easily built, but everybody has an ego you know some people yeah. like put aside their egos and work. some don't but that's just the mess going on around here everybody got a, a huge ego but nobody wants to put their ego aside for the music so it's yeah basically what it want, is now it's a mess that it is if you want to work just work that's what we say yeah yeah without like uh giving out any names unless you niggas want to can you actually like give me like a scenario where you were faced where it's like okay dude me and this other cat we can we're actually in a position where we can do something good for our city and for our culture but it sort of like took a back turn because of like maybe misunderstandings do you remember any situation like that me personally i don't have those type of situations cuz i distance myself from the negative everything negative I, i don't want no part of that shit bro no care yeah so i wouldn't say much on the, i wouldn't say much on that topic so i don't know about him um no no to me i'd say like it's general it's very general and yeah out here it's general yeah yeah um, yeah, yeah. Like, we yeah like if you if this person wants to work and be able to start off working working and then maybe let's say because of that misunderstanding or whatever they are not sending through the work at the time they're supposed to like things like that or you can't get yeah. all of and everyone has their own life right so it just But kind of falls out like apart like that yeah like if you decided to be a part of this project or this collaboration see it through before you fall short of it you know oh uh, how is how is i got you man i got you i got you so yeah man moving on to the next shit like um tell me like what makes your guys sound stand apart from the crowd what is it can you like pin, pinpoint a specific quality that you that you have that makes you feel like bro like for real I'm bodying these niggas are here these niggas can't do this shit like I'm doing it I think it's that dark element you know Word. Not, not a lot of people are doing the dark darkish type of music out here trap. everybody's basically trying to follow the wave everybody's doing the way I yeah. see it in Hollywood but for me I do I feel I, I don't, if I see a track popping I'm not going to try and that shit like I get a lot of people who come to me and like 
ask to buy beats when i ask what type of beats do you want or do you like people will tell me to make them a hype beat um, you see, like that's my yeah. that's my biggest problem. Like I don't want to make type B. Yeah. Why can't I make a maybe a, a villain behind type B? Yeah. Why can't I make that type B? Yeah. Why should yeah, I make sure, a sure. B type B mm. or a B type B? Why can't I make a, a me type B? Yeah. He has Got a, you. He have original sound. Yeah, 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 yeah. It tastes like. Nobody's doing what you did. Like even right now, nobody's making music like that. Like that. Yeah. Unique. All right. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, um, can you guys kind of like, um, rather let me ask, let me put it to you like this: like, who's number one on your hit list in SA? Like, who are you, who are you gunning for out here? I, I wouldn't even say. I'm thinking SA. Not to say okay. it's not big, but it's more of a focus on myself. Like, okay, I'm able to listen to this or know that this is a dope song or it's a hit or whatever. Then that's how I see it. I've at least impressed myself hard enough to know I can drop this out or I can release. It. It's it's like I, like oh okay. To answer your question, let me say it's me. I'm gunning for myself in the way I know if I drop so many or if I drop certain or set it out for myself that I'm going to make sure every fucking verse I write is dope just for that. And then when I feel myself even slipping up, even after a track is recorded, be like, no, that one's not it though. I, I don't want to listen to that again. Or like, you know, let me do it in a different way, you know? So yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, got you, man. For for me personally, I has a lot of niggas out that are hard in the streets right now. Mm -hmm. I ain't even yeah. gonna lie. But I'd have to say I'm trying to be the best me I can be right now. Yeah, I'm yeah. not I'm not okay. gunning for anybody but yourself. I'm, but if I have to gun for somebody, I'm gunning for someone who's coming to me. How is? I don't, Got you, I, bro. I don't want no smoke. 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 You can see what this nigga is saying, bro. You can uh, see I see it. Yeah, we, we see the homies comment. Yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's competition in everybody. That's what it is, basically. You um, we you have nigga, our inspiration uh, that we draw, we draw from, but ultimately, it's a it's a me thing or a us thing or a you thing like it's me versus me all the time got you bro i know that i am better than so and so or, you know <laughs> like, like <laughs> yeah yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah um the second last question anyone is anybody can get that smoke. Smoke. <laughs> word um second to last question is like what's your what's your vision for the future uh you can start this one bro you go with this one yeah you i don't know man I, I i really don't know i'm i'm just trying to be the best me i can be i'm trying to i'm trying to stay authentic mm. i'm trying to keep to me as much as i can because niggas tend to lose their shit out here bro because there's a lot of pressure in the game, bro. True. Word. I'm just trying to stay focused on me and mm. doing me the best way I know how. Yeah. Got you, bro. And uh, yeah, L L L N. Yeah. Um, I'd say for me, like, I try to be as present as much as possible. You know, like, as I'm kind of gonna piggyback on him, kind of little. You know, like. Um, I'm trying to be the best me I can be at this very moment, basically. But I know for the future, let's say I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, uh, what's this? I'm not throwing anything out there or leaking information about something, but I can go as far as say RD has been done recording wise, recording wise. RD2. What's RD2? I mean, RD what's RD2? I, oh, I don't even know the first RD. My bad, my bad. <laughs> Recurring dream. Oh, basically. oh, that's my bad. You see, I'm acting like you know. I'm, I'm acting like you know. 
I should I should have known that. I should have known that. I, I didn't right put two and two. So you niggas so, are working on a sequel. Yeah, 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 yeah. Or we've worked on a sequel. Now we, I don't know what's going on. Maybe we're working, or maybe we've worked. Yeah, maybe something's not. happening. Maybe something's not. there. Something's there. Something's there. <laughs> something's, there. <laughs> something's happening. Gotcha, and man. It's gotcha. Man. The time, and it's not the stream. Oh yeah, time. yeah, 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 yeah. It's it's very collaborative. Oh, very cool. Collaborative. But in the sense, you can say that. It's open in the sense of it's. It might be my first time working with a certain artist or whatever, but we know like we're from the same place and you on our same vibe. We're on the same level. Like we we found more people to collaborate with. You can say than ourselves. Yeah, man. And more songs and more songs, man. Not this more, like three three three, three track EPs, yeah. man. Come on, my niggas. Yeah. Come on, my niggas. Yeah. <laughs> It's tape this time, hey, hey, yeah. background story, everything. Like you, you'll see, man. You'll see, man. I am and looking forward. It's on another level. I don't want to give away yeah, too much. Yeah. Nobody depressed yeah. this time. Oh yeah, yeah, we going. <laughs> and nobody depressed. Nobody depressed this time. Gotcha, man. Conceptualized. Gotcha, man. It's conceptualized. Oh yes. There's a so small picture and a bigger picture leading out to it. It's yeah. Word. So I'm um, um we're moving on to like the second part of the interview, right? Where right, yeah. I got I got like a few of you guys lyrics from the tape and I want you to basically break it down because uh the thing here at Fan First is we like uh when music isn't um play, like laid out for mm. the listener to interpret we like it when there's like two different meanings to the same bar you yeah, dig yeah, right, yeah, yeah so we yeah. want the i'm gonna throw a bunch of your niggas bars and i want you to analyze that for me man i mean so in the yeah in the prophecy you say um, back, i'll totally damage your psyche so check yourself like nike where you're at what's your ip started off as a pipe dream Everybody can get that smoke. <laughs> you did. <laughs> you did, bro. Smoke, That's what it is, bro. You see Everybody the way you quoted it, smoke. right? The way you yeah. quoted it. Uh, it's, my screen was just going a bit. Uh, you know when it goes dark, like the phone was sleeping or something. Okay. I I just don't want it to turn off, but like it's. What 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 was I even getting to now? Like I'll oh to- okay, I'll when totally it's de- I'll totally damage your psyche. So check yourself, like Nike. Nikki. Yeah, like it, it's yeah. double meaning, like Nike, Nike the boot. Check yeah. yourself, check yourself, like in, in that check. type of sense. You know what? Yeah. It's pre- it's laid out, but at the end, I'm saying if you go come at me, you need to check yourself. You yeah. Know? That type of thing. Like if you want this, radio, got you, man. Radio, whatever, if she wants the smoke, my nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I dig it. I dig it. I dig it, man. So astral projection. Over my body, that's an out of body. In my room, I'm chilling with nobody. Phone calling on solid. Don't need no distractions. I'm out here to take action like action man. First of all, I fuck with the fact that you didn't follow the 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 traditional um uh rhyme scheme. rhyme scheme yeah yeah exactly it's all like jumbled totally up and tripping. it sounds so crazy yeah exactly tripping. bro you were tripping for real like can you break that down for me uh i was tripping like like i literally the beat was what it was let's let me start off by saying like when i got the beat it was what it was in the sense i was like oh shit i know where this could go but oh yeah but, but I'll try to continue from there. Like, that's not the final thought on it. Like, there are certain tracks which you could say are done over months or whatever. But this one you would say was done over. It was a day, it was a day thing. When I was like, I'm doing this, I'm doing this. You know, like, it took me. But I knew what the title yeah. was from Jump because I was like, you know, this. Like, I'm going to talk about something which I would like to happen or how it happened. So first, honestly, yeah. I, I first did my research on, like, I know what astral, astral projection, projection is, yeah. But what do I think of it? How do I think you do it? You know, that type of vibe. Dude, so yeah, I I'm got you. I got you. What goes on in an uh, when you astral project or about to or whatever? Yeah. Got you, bro. 
Um, so the last uh, bit here is from Reoccurring Dreams, and this is yo, this is my favorite verse. This is my favorite <laughs> verse outro, out of the whole EP, the outro. But it's it's specifically the That's third good. verse, though. <laughs> Yo, what's up, what's yo. What's up? Okay, sorry, go ahead. Go I was, I was wilding out, out bro. Every time it comes <laughs> on, I'm, I, I wild out. Every single time it pops up, I wild out, bro. Switch so, up. mind you, I, 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 I want you to break down the whole verse, but I'm just gonna kick it off here for you. It's Vusa, 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 Vusa. Couple of cases of black juice. Anybody got the gray goose? Have you ever had couscous? Have you ever been so high you were paralyzed? Sleep paralysis, that's the shit I need to analyze. It's like, bro, 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 bro. bro. <laughs> wild I was wild I wild out every time, bro. I wild out every time, bro. That shit is mad crazy, bro. Break down that whole third verse with me, man. That's actually how I guessed it because that's actually my favorite part. Also, that <laughs> bro, thing. it's crazy. It's hey, way too wild out, bro. Up, a, the switch up was crazy because even yeah. when I heard this, when you hear a switch up in a beat, it is what it is. It's that exact. You know, you gotta switch it up. So Damn. now you might you might be maybe a little forgetting, not really forgetting, but you might not be referencing what just happened in the song, but yeah, something yeah, else yeah. is about to happen right now. Something yeah, else about yeah, it. Yeah. So it was a whole different vibe, I'd say. I mean, I was literally talking about what was going through my mind. Hence why I try to unfilter myself as much as possible and try yeah. to get what I'm thinking onto a page, but make sure that it can be gotten from any angle type of thing. Yes, I'm, you, I'm, I'm, writing, I'm, write, I'm writing for me, but if someone else can relate to it or can fuck with it, then... Yeah. I I will I I I look at it that way because at the time I was talk I was talking about just the experience like they like of new voice of voice of voice of voice yeah 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 is literally from Wusa um bad boys that's yeah. literally that's that's Wusa yeah, yeah. you know Wusa and bad boys yeah yeah um, yeah I know I got you I got you I got you so I was just like chill trying to meditate you know trying to meditate but at the same time. Vusa, you know, like let, let, let's sip some. Got you, bro. I got you. I hundred percent. I got you. Got you, got you my nigga. You know, what's my favorite beer? Let's say beer. You know, yeah. Black juice right now. You know, oh, oh, at that moment, I was sipping black yeah. juice type of. Vibe. I don't. I, I'm give. I don't want to give up too much away, but it is what it is. Got you, man. Got you, man. Do you guys have any final thoughts, though? Hmm. We about to work right now, definitely. Oh yeah. Since we don't know yeah. when we might meet up again because of this whole pandemic, so we about to go in now. We about to we gotta get, get it in, in bro. Crazy more music that's coming up. I've got a single. He's got a single out. He's got an EP out. I've got a gang of music out. <laughs> yeah, basically. Gotcha, um, man. We both got our SoundCloud accounts with music there. 